And we are back uh, and it's time for entertainment. We have Asi Rini. I hope I got your name right. Yeah, Asi. Yes, and she is an up and coming artist. We're going to delve into a little of her journey and how it has been for her so far. Tell us a bit about who Asi Rini is. Okay, so Asi is a passionate musician. Mm. Um, loves her continent and believes that music should be used as a tool to empower people and um, make people feel good, mm. yeah. When did you start doing music and how has it been for you so far? I started doing music, I think when I was 17, like officially. Okay. Yeah. But you're now? 19. 19, so two years ago. Yeah. What kind of music do you do? Um, so, um, Afro pop. Um, I, I cut across different genres, okay. but everybody would categorize me too. So, so yeah. And how has the Ghanaian public been receiving you since you you got into the scene? Um, it's been good. It's not rosy, mm -hmm. but it's been good. I have a few people, like organic fans, that really love my music. So, why isn't it rosy? Um, I think generally the market okay. um, accepts a certain kind of genre, so the percentage of Afro beats, mm -hmm. Afro pop mm -hmm. is higher than that of so, so, yeah. Do you see that changing anytime soon? Um, yes, it would. What makes you think so? There are lots of upcoming artists that are doing so right now, so mm. eventually it would rub off, yeah. Who are some of the musicians that you look up to? Who do you listen to? Um, I listen to Asa, I listen to Angeli Kudo, I listen to, um, I listen to J. Cole, I listen to, oh. yeah, I listen to a lot of musicians. How about so, down here in Ghana? Do you um, have any favorites? Yes, I do. Um, hmm. I like Efias music. I, Sina So, mm. um, AI, Walasi, um, Jackie, mm. um, Maj, like a lot of upcoming artists. Right. Like, yeah. Now, all these people you've mentioned are sort of doing uh, a particular genre that hasn't caught up yet. Yeah. Because uh, Ghanaians are used to the dancing, you know, jumping around. Do you see yourself doing uh, that type of music as well? Um, just to appeal to the market, just to, you know, get lots of airplay and then probably uh, do shows, you know, during Christmas when it is cocoa season for artists. So, um, with me, I have to feel first, so it's like if I'm feeling very jumpy, mm -hmm. I can make a very active track that dance. I have danceable tracks. Okay. So it's like, it's not even about appealing to the masses. It's normally about my message. Mm. And yes, with music, there's a strategy and everything so that your music gets caught and people start listening to your words right. and everything. But with me, I'm not limited. Like, mm. if I feel like I want to make an Afrobeat song, I would make an Afrobeat song. Now, what are some of the projects that you're working on? Um, EP, album, singles, what should we look out for? So, I, when I started music, I released an EP. Mm. It was a big risk, but I felt like I had to present myself in a way that people had like a taste of the different kinds of music I did. So, right. I went through Afrobeat, house, soul, world music, all in one like EP. Mm. Um, right now, I'm just working on collaborations, but I actually want to release an EP like maybe later on next year. Mm. Yeah, I have the title and everything, but I'm just not. We'll, we'll, we'll get uh, more time maybe sometime later and then talk uh, a bit about that. But tell us how people can follow you, how they can get your music on social media, you know, online portals. Um, so on Twitter, Asi underscore Rini, ASI underscore Rini. Facebook, Asi underscore Rini. Instagram, Asi underscore Rini. And my music is on Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud. You can find it like almost everywhere. Asi Rini is a new deal. She says, follow her. It's going to be great. Let's all support her. Let's support the journey.